Today, we turn our attention to Martinique. Apparently, Martinique is really on fire. It's in chaos right now. Cost of living is skyrocketing. Crime is out of control. The people are protesting and they need answers. What does France do? Because you know, of course, Martinique is still a dependency of France. What does France do? Do they negotiate with them? Do they say, well, let's get crime down. Let's work on solutions. Only solution that France is offering right now is to send a long forbidden anti-terror police to Martinique. That force has been disbanded for 65 years and now they're sending those same set of people to Martinique to quell the violence, to stop the protests. France continues its reign of terror. Don't you know that's what France is best for? We'll go into that today as well. When I tell you all that you all need to rid yourselves of these white people, that they have no use for blacks. People want to say that is racism. They have no use for you. France sends forbidden anti-riot force to Martinique as thousands defy the protest ban. So you see what I hear? France sends forbidden anti-riot force to Martinique. Not other, not government officials from France to see if we could work out on details. No, they're sending a forbidden force. Violent protests erupted on the island last week over the high cost of living with gunfire injuring at least six police officers and one civilian. France has sent a group of special anti-riot police, which has been banned for 65 years to the French Caribbean island of Martinique, where protesters have gathered despite the government barring demonstrations in part of the island. What is this force going to do when they arrive in Martinique? What do you think they're going to do? More people are going to die because the people are not going to back down. The force arrived at the weekend after local representative of France's central government said in a statement that protests were forbidden in various municipalities on the island, including Fort de France, which is the capital. The restrictions came after violent protests broke out on the island over the high cost of living. But the measures was met by defiance by many on the island with massive peaceful protests breaking out Saturday night. Videos from local media show crowds of thousands of peacefully walking along highways overnight, banging on drums and waving flags. Who are the riot police? This is what we're supposed to be mentioning on because if you listen to mainstream media, mainstream media is focusing on, oh, the people are mashing up stores, oh, the people are doing this, oh, the people are doing that. They're not telling you that crime is out of control, the cost of living is totally out of control, the French government is not negotiating with the people. But what are they doing? They're sending riot police. The elite riot police known as the Companies for Republican Security were banned in the French territory following bloody riots. In 1959. So what do you think they're coming back to do? If they were banned in 1959 because of bloody riots, what do you think they're coming back to do? The unit has been accused of using disproportionate force against protesters and in the deaths of a number of young demonstrators. The force is rarely deployed in the French territories in the Caribbean, but was called in during riots and strikes in Guadeloupe in 2009. Martinique leaders requested the force amid the recent protests in an historic shift for the island and one met with sharp rejection by some in the territory. Could you believe that? So representatives of France in Martinique who are controlling the government in Martinique requested the force to use it against their own people. When I tell black people that white people have no use for them except to be voting cows, they get angry. But that's what, that's what they are. And that's what they are to the white man, a voting cow. Keep them in power. British Belly, a representative of the Socialist Party on the island, blasted the move saying Martinique is not in a civil war. It's a social war. She called for an open and transparent dialogue between protesters and the government. This measure only serves to aggravate tensions and distract attention from the legitimate demands of the people of Martinique, she wrote in a statement on Sunday. And she is absolutely correct. Why would you take an elite squad that in Guadeloupe in 2009 ended the protests bloody where people died? Why would you take that and send that to Martinique to quell the violence? That force that have been banned for 65 years. I tell black people all the time 
let these white people go claim your own independence let them go under these people they have no use for us let's get back to france's nasty history and their reign of terror and why the people of martinique should be very careful what is their reign of terror there was a period of the french revolution from september 5th 19, 1793 to july 27 1794 with civil war spreading from then the and hostile armies surrounding France on all sides, the revolutionary government decided to make terror the order of the day and to take harsh measures against those suspected of being enemies of the revolution. Nobles and priests and hoarders in Paris, a wave of execution followed. In the provinces, representatives on mission and surveillance committees instituted local terrors. The terror had an economic side embodied in a maximum, a price control measure demanded by the lower classes of Paris and a religious side that was embodied in the program of de-Christianization pursued by followers of Jacques Herbert. Now, you see what's happening in France? They instituted a wave of terror on people. Who are these people? Nobles, priests, herders, anybody who is suspected of being enemies of the revolution. France still has that attitude till this day. They're sending an elite squad that was banned 65 years ago to Martinique. Why are they sending them there? Because these people in Martinique were cried out in a social injustice. They are now seeing them as enemies of the revolution, enemies of the state, the state of France. And to quell that, we're going to send in these elite squad. It may end up in a bloody revolution on the island of Martinique. If you look at what has been happening, these colonies have been looking to get away from France for a long time, but they're not gonna let them go. See what they did to Haiti? When Haiti wanted independence, Haiti's still paying today. They have to pay France still today for, for letting go. France in hot water as colonies increasingly demand independence. Colonies make up 18% of French territory home to 2.6 million people. People want freedom from France. They want to be free and independent. The people of Martinique also wants their autonomy. They want to be free as well. How could you control a country 7,000 kilometers away from you? How could you feel what's going on there? Crime is up. It is up, up, and up. Cost of living to the roof. And the best that you can do is to send an elite squad to quell the violence, one that was banned 65 years ago. You're not looking to quell anything. You're looking for murder. Bloody revolutions. It's nothing new. The people of Martinique will have to wake up. Wake up. Wake up, I say.